Hello everyone. In this video we're going to be solving a functional equation. We have 2 times f of x minus f of x over x minus 1 equals x. And we're going to try to find an expression for f. So let's go ahead and start by looking at this expression inside the parentheses. Now I would like to turn this into something that looks like x, but obviously I'm not going to set it equal to x because that's going to give me a numerical value. How about setting it equal to z? So suppose x over x minus 1 equals z. From here we get x equals xz minus z. Now my goal is to solve for x from here. Let's go ahead and do that. So let's put everything that contains x on the same side and putting the z on the left hand side. So like this, z equals xz minus x. And now we're going to factor out x here to get the x by itself. Okay, divide both sides by z minus 1. You get x equals z over z minus 1. Great. Now, this is pretty good because if that tells me if I replace x with z over z minus 1 here, then this just turns into a z. Okay, makes sense? And that's good. But notice that the expression that we found for x is the same thing pretty much as what we have for z. So it kind of have the same structure, some variable divided by that variable minus one. So that kind of gives us a really good information that we can go ahead and replace x over x minus one with x or, or x with that. It's gonna be the same thing. So here's what we're gonna do. Here's how we're gonna proceed. Replace x with x over x minus one. So let me rewrite the original problem. We have 2 f of x minus f of x over x minus 1 equals x. And now we're going to go ahead and replace x with this everywhere. Let's do it. We're going to get 2 times f of x over x minus 1. And when we do it here and here, we're going to get f of x. We just saw that. But if you wanted to test it out, I can show you real quick. Replace x with x over x minus 1 here and x over x minus 1 here. Then that's going to give us the following. We can make a common denominator. x over x minus 1 divided by x minus x plus 1 over x minus 1. x minus 1 cancels out, x cancels out, and we end up with x over 1, which is x. That's why this just turns into x when we replace x with x over x minus 1. I know too many x's, right? Okay, so that's what we do. Replace x with that. And obviously you have to do it on both sides. So the right hand side is going to give me x over x minus 1. So I got a system of equations from here. So let's go ahead and clear this up a little bit. x over x minus 1. Awesome. So now, how do we solve the system? And remember, our goal is to find an expression for f of x. So that would make sense if I can get rid of this expression right here. And notice that the coefficient of f of x over x minus 1 is 2 at the, in the bottom equation and the, in the top equation its coefficient is negative 1. So that tells me to multiply the top equation by 2. Okay, great. So let's go ahead and do that now. We're going to multiply this equation by 2 and add these equations up. Let's go ahead and draw a line and then do the multiplication and now we're going to do the addition. So after we multiply the, and by the way I'd say top and bottom, but if you want you can number these equations and call them number one and number two. So I'm going to multiply equation number one by two on both sides. So that's going to give me four times f of x minus two times f of x over x minus one equals two x. And the second equation is going to stay the same, two times f of x over x minus one minus f of x. Remember this is the equation we obtained by replacing x with x over x minus x with x over x minus 1. So the second equation is unchanged. Now we can go ahead and add these equations up and that's going to do the trick. So here 2 times f of x over x minus 1 is going to cancel out leaving us with 4 times f of x minus f of x which is 3 times f of x. And on the right hand side of course, we're adding, so it's going to look like this. 2x plus, right, x over x minus 1. 
So let's go ahead and simplify this. 3 times f of x equals, if you make a common denominator, you get 2x squared minus 2x plus x over x minus 1. And then if you simplify the numerator, you get 2x squared minus x over x minus 1. And then finally, multiplying both sides by 1 third or dividing by 3, we get 2x squared minus x divided by 3x minus 3. And that would be the expression for f. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.